Well, uh, I didn't know that uh, the, the tongue was too low. That's the wrong key. You just wanted to watch me just smash the trailer or what? Mm -hmm. I actually lowered it a little bit because I didn't know how hard the wind was going to be with that front. And whenever you get it up, I'll show you. It's kind of sketch, look. Trailer moves, or the whole boat moves. Yeah, okay, so now that's good. That should fit, right? No floor. Leave that till the morning. All right, we just got the boat hitched up to my truck. Got out of the way for what is back here. You guys ready for it? I talked about it briefly in the last video. But check out what my brother got for fishing that we, like this channel, are gonna get to fish on in coming videos. Are you guys ready? Ready, ready, ready? Boom. A skimmer skiff, 14 foot, tiller steer, 20 horse Suzuki, stiffy push pull. But this right here is what gets me super stoked and excited. This fella right here, Minn Kota, 50 or 55 pound thrust? 55 pounds of thrust. Trolling motor with spot lock. This thing is going to be amazing when we're in the flats fishing for redfish and trout via sight fishing. Basically, no one's gonna have to be up on the top push pulling. Both of us can be fishing on autopilot and even hold a spot. If we, uh, if we need to. Even if we go like to the jetties and we want to hold our spot, we can do that. Don't think we're going to be taking this girl offshore, but hey, on a flat day, you never know. That might be something to do. But yeah, this is his new rig here. Everything I'm pretty sure is like 2020. It's all 2020, right? Yep. Very low hours. Five hours on the motor. Blake says five hours on the motor, new trailer, everything is pristine and clean. Pretty sick, kind of jealous. If I was going to get like a a bay rig, I'd probably get something. This is the pretty similar to this stakeout hole. Oh yeah, so we didn't know what the heck these PVCs were at first, or at least I didn't. But basically, this is your uh, your poor man's power pole. But I actually think it's better than an actual power pole, since we're on such a small boat. We just got stakeout pole, well, latches for... in like this, and then you can. Stick it in here to uh, anchor yourself. It's better than those micro ones because you don't have something sticking up if you're fly fishing. Yeah, so it's a lot lighter and yeah, it's not going to be sticking way up in the air like a regular uh, power just pole. for the push pull to rest in when you're standing up on the platform. Yeah, so we got this little insert for the, uh, the power pole deal and then this is for the stiffy push pull. Uh, I guess when you're standing up there, but you're not really going to need to use it if you're using a trolling motor, is that right? Well, if it's real shallow, then I'll be put pulling. Blake says if it's super shallow, too shallow for the Minn Kota, then he'll be pulling. So basically that means that I'm going to be like right here casting, Blake's going to be push pulling. <laughs> or vice versa. I actually, I actually pulled Blake around a little bit in Florida this summer. But yeah, everything is powered uh, with a single battery, right? Yep. Single battery, he's got a Perco in here, jack plate, which is super sick. This thing is supposed to go insanely skinny. Um, yeah, look at this jack plate. Brings the motor up insanely high. Um, look at this. It's got this, it's got this real nice um, gem material in here. Like, I don't really know how to describe it. It's what they use in the, uh, in the gems. Whenever you're working out, it's kind of padded. I guess it's a cheaper version of a... Uh, of sea deck but honestly it's super nice and i kind of want to put some in the penga they do actually have some sea deck got a super sick measuring board here and uh 
that's gonna come into some serious handiness. What do we got up here? Switch panel? Yep. Running lights, anchor light, bilge pump, and accessory. What is the accessory switch for? Yeah, you know? LED lights right here inside. So we got running LED lights. You said there's a live well pump as well? Live well right here, but I'm not gonna use So we got that. a live well in here. Yeah, we never really use live bait, but hey, you never know. We might go sheep's head fishing or something. And then a thing for the jack. Hatch up here with battery as well. We got a jack plate switch. Look at that. I think cranks up there, doesn't it? Goes way up. Yeah, we run in shallow. So I said it is a tiller. Blake actually does have a carbon fiber tiller extension that came with it. And um, what else? It's a pull tiller. So it's not an electric start, but hey, I mean, the, the motor doesn't have to have a battery to start, right? That's, yeah, it's a pull start, so I don't have to have a battery. Okay, yeah, that's right. So being that it's a pull start, he doesn't have to use a battery to start the motor. I actually ran into some issues with that earlier when I got the Panga. And whenever I wasn't trickle charging uh, the battery, I, a couple times, or one time I went out there, I wasn't able to start the boat uh, because the battery was so low. Blake shouldn't have this issue as long as his motor is running good, which it should. It's five hours on it. It's still not even broken in completely. So she's got a lot of fishing ahead of her, more fishing ahead of her than there is behind her. Look at this. We got a rod holder, running lights. Everything is literally set up perfectly. Like right here. Look at that, padded PVC guides for trailering the boat. But yeah, 14 foot six skimmer skiff. Can't wait to go catch some inshore fish out of this thing. It's literally set up for what the kind of fishing we do here in the bay. Um, we're usually fishing gin clear water to semi clear water and it's gonna be great for sight fishing. That's all I gotta really say about it. Well, that's about all I got for the boat right now. We're actually gonna pull it out and run the motor real quick. Blake hasn't done it yet since that freeze just delayed everything. Um, yeah, once we do this, I'm gonna get everything prepped up for tomorrow. I'm actually getting ready for an offshore trip in the morning. My buddy Nick, our ex is coming down. Hopefully we can sneak out there and get a couple snapper. I really don't know um, how they're gonna be acting with this cold. Hopefully they're not too lethargic. They're definitely gonna be super hungry, so. If they didn't move out, they're definitely gonna be there and munching whatever's dropped down. So that is the plan right now. So what do you think? Should we trade in the Ponga for a skiff so we can go bay fishing more? What do you think? I don't know. I'm typically digging the offshore a lot more than bay fishing, but we could definitely go fishing way more if we had a skiff. Or, 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 we could just put a dang jack plate on here and take this thing to uh, the flats. We could definitely fish quite a few bay fishing spots if I had a jack plate. Uh, in the ponga because it definitely sits very skinny the only issue I've had is that getting up has been a problem since the motor sits so low uh, on the boat being that we don't have that jack plate so I don't know what do you guys think